What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Kraken Packs MTG. Matt here, and today we just have a Dominary United Collector Booster Box. This one will be short and sweet. See if we can hit one of those Legends cards. See if we can get some uh, some cool Phyrexians, some Lilianas, so on and so forth. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment for the giveaways we do here. We got 12 packs and a topper. Let's get started. So, what do you guys think about the news that the... Uh, the upcoming sets are not going to have pre-releases. That feels like that's the one thing that people still really get hyped for with Magic is the pre-release. And not having those feels like a huge oversight to me. Feels really bad. That's like pre-releases are probably my favorite Magic tournaments, hands down. So what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments. So far, nothing crazy out of this box. I'm just gonna, just gonna throw cards wherever now. Give, I've already get pack two, giving up on piles. Ooh, Plaza of Heroes extended foil. There we go. That's something. A little bit of something. These packs are so tough to open. Over like the past, Danitha textured foil. Okay. Sheesh. There's our girl Lily. Over the past, you know, what is it, four, three, four, five sets since uh, Crimson Vow, these collector boosters, the wrappers on them are incredibly hard to open. And I think I've gotten like superhuman strength in my hands to be able to, uh, to rip into these things. Because it is incredibly difficult sometimes. Especially the Crimson Vow. They used uh, super glue on those things. Another Plaza of Heroes. Torsten, Soul of Wind Grace. And an extended foil Carplusen Force. So, are we happy with Pain Lands, or do we wish they were the uh, like the Check Lands, or maybe the Fast Lands? We needed Fast Lands really bad. I feel like Pain Lands are fine. I just wish, like, I feel like the Land Cycle and Set should carry a little bit more value to kind of kind of help the set out. Unite the Coalition, Civitri Dragon Master Sten, and a Merfolk Wizard. Really expecting something uh, something a little better land-wise, but, you know, you take what they give you. Urza assembles the Titans. Firebrand. Another Savitri. Normal. Extended Shivan Reef and a Sanded Sleeper's Scourge. That's one of the Commander Extended Foils. Might be okay. Not check the price on that one, but usually the Commander cards you get in Extended Foil bring a little bit of bucks. I'm just I'm just one pile in it now. I've given up. About halfway through this box now. Got a few decent cards. Still searching for the the big hits, the legends cards, the tabby, the Urborg Lurgoyf, Curkeep Overlord, Dane, and a herd migration. That whole pack was pretty rough. This set. I don't know about it. The there was a there didn't seem to be a lot of hype, and there's a lot of hype, and then there's it's really cooled off. I don't know where this one's gonna go. Caves of Coilos and a Silver Scrutiny. Seems like there's a handful of cards in here that are good. Maybe there'll be one or two more that that rise from the uh, rise from the dumpster. Never know. Textured Sten. This is one of the cards I really like. It's probably bad, but I do like it. Rasputin. The Lady Otaria. And an extended foil Elf Lord. It's not a bad card. Especially with the uh, cast the Elf trigger. Being able to have that draw engine in green is pretty powerful. Aether Channeler. Beast Collar. Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief. Sulphur Springs. And a showcase foil wrist. Still, even with one stack, I'm, I'm knocking it over. Looks like there's no Legends cards going to be in here unless... Ooh, there we go. Shevin Devastator extended. That card is so, so good. Zyra. Edgefoil Torsten. And a Stronghold Arena. 
All right, last shot for glory here. Will we get a, uh, a tabernacle? Will we get a moat, a chains? We'll take anything. Ah, nothing there. But we did get a really cool squee. Textured foil, Evolve Sleeper, another one of the good cards I set. Roboron Mercenaries, the Ever-Changing Dane, Karn, Living Legacy, and Anointed Peacekeeper, the round out the box. Don't let me forget the topper. I forgot these things multiple times because there's not a ton to be excited about. But we'll see how we do. And it's just an uncommon General Marhalt, Els Dragon. Well, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Um, again, if you don't mind, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I'll respond to it probably, maybe. We'll see. Love your faces. See you in the next one. Have a good day.